In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we'd like to give you some tips on working with the 12 new facial styles that are available in PhotoDirector. We're going to start with this photograph of the gal. And to get to these facial styles, we click on the guided button at the very top. And then we choose the photo effects subcategory and then choose style. I see on the left that I have a dozen different styles available, especially for the face. Two of them in the cartoon category, I have five in the anime category, and I have five in the 3D cartoon category. Let's see how they work and how they're different. In order to do that, I want to preview this image before and after. So I'm going to click on the second box from the left at the bottom, that will be a before and after, and I've selected the split left and right comparison. So with that, we're going to look at her face. Now let's look at the, what the cartoon ones do. If I click on the first one, it will process, it tells me it will take a while, and now you can see the difference between the left side and the right side. If you look carefully at the image, you notice it's made the eyes larger and the lips fuller. It's given a, a nice texture to the hair, a little bit of outline to the jaw, and that's basically what it does. Now, if I want to see gradually what it does, I can take the strength bar below them and go from 0 to 100. Let's do that. I'll go to the back. Here's the original. And watch what happens as I drag to the right. I'm going to see more and more the eye gets bigger. And the color gets a little more cartoon-like. We would, might call that China doll-like. But that's the change that we see here. Now on this one, you can do use a little bit of degree and it's not too bad. On some of these, you can't and I'll tell you why. Let's do the second cartoon style here. We'll reprocess and here's a second version. This was at a 51% strength and now let's go to full strength and you get to see this. But you notice again the change, especially in the eye and the lips. But you can do degrees on this one and it's not too bad. Let's look at the uh, anime. Let's take the first one. And it reminds us it's applied to the face only. It takes a while to process. And when it does, this is what we're going to see. Again, you notice the much larger eye and the fuller lips. Let's go back with strength. We start with the normal image. We go halfway up. It doesn't work quite so well because you have a change in the eye, but at some degree it gets okay. And then all the way to the full. Let's try uh, another one, just number four. And I'll click on OK again. The texture lines, the tone lines in the skin are slightly different with each of these. It treats the hair slightly different. So that's a way in which you can apply that. I go all the way. We get very pale skin and we can get a little more realistic as we go back. Again, the lips here are not are fuller, but they're not quite as pronounced as in one of the other ones. Let's try one more before we go into the third category. Number five. Click on OK. And you notice this one is a little more realistic. We start out normal, and again, the lips are there, but they're not quite as puffy. They're a little more like the original, and the skin is very much smoother. The eye, again, is much larger than natural. Another interesting set of five is the third group in this effect for the face is 3D cartoon. And though one of them has a picture of a male on it, it, it doesn't really matter. It's just an example. So when I click on the first one, let's do that and see what the 3D looks like. You notice a big difference on the 3D is it doesn't change the size of the lips much. And it enlarges the eye, but not super large. So there's the 100% applying it. And you notice here, here again, we have some variation. So I can go maybe up to here and stop, but I can't go in between. It gets rather fuzzy there. Let's try the second one in the second category. Now we have a, notice a shape of the chin changes. The eye is still large. We have still a mostly natural, slightly enlarged lip area. And of course, we have this stellar complexion. If I crank it up all the way, this is what you see. And the eye, in this case, looks very animated. I'll go to the last one in the option and click on this. Now it reprocesses. 
And this is the lap, last option that you see. And again, we have a little bit of modification of the jawline, definitely of the eye and eyebrow, and a little bit of the lip. These are some of the interesting ways in which you can take a facial picture and modify it using one of these 12 styles in PhotoDirector 365.